Hi, I'm Kanye from NRTV. Okay, I'll see you next time. I'll see you next time, Ms. Organizer. Uh, congratulations on Event How you made such a success. Oh, I hope it is for you too. Uh, because yes, actually, it's, it's, it's a great success. Um, it's it's really surpassed any of our expectations. You know, the whole team is just so grateful for the people of Middleburg um, for coming out, you know, and showing so much love. Yeah. All right, all right, thank you. Um, so, uh, how long have you been preparing for this, or how, how long have you been planning to, to host this event? COVID 19, new disability, or anything? A lot. Actually, this event was supposed to happen in October. But, um, you know, we started planning this event very early on in the year. So when COVID hit our shores, it really just destabilized everything, you know, and we had to relook and try to plan ahead and try to think with the government and try to think along the lines of when do we think we're going to have the chance to host people in a safe environment. And um, so it's taken quite a bit of time and like I'm saying, you know, it's it's really such a great success today. We are also happy that it has turned out the way that it has. You know, we did not think that people would come in in so many numbers. Although we have tried, and I think we have um, actually succeeded in keeping keeping within the regulations and the limits of COVID-19. Uh, so COVID-19 really did disturb us, but we, we couldn't be happier with the event that we have today. Are we looking forward to a second annual? Definitely. Definitely. You know, I mean, people have shown their support and their love and, and their thirst for such an event. So the second annual will be coming. However, before the second annual, we actually have the ultimate party that is going to take place in December, same um, same town, Middleburg, and it's going to be a bigger lineup, and we are just looking forward to having everybody back on on the 16th of December, and then we will then after that announce the date for the second annual Soulful Night. Which artist can we expect to see? Or one or two nyana sevele hanyani fela on the 16th of December. Yo, which one do you like? I probably have all the ones that you like. Um, we're looking at having Cuesta. We're going to have Mafigizolo. We're going to have um, uh, Black Motion. We're going to have Duma Silela. We are mixing it up, you know, bringing LKG, Mo Flavor. I mean, there's so many great artists on that lineup that to just pick one out of all of them seems like really I'm not doing justice to the lineup, but it's definitely going to be bigger and better. I'm not originally from here. I moved here due to work when I joined the RMM team. Um, but the, the owners of RMM, you know, and the partners, they are all from Middleburg and they saw a market, they saw a gap in the entertainment um, industry in Middleburg and they really just wanted to make sure that people of Mpumalanga, people of, of Middleburg can enjoy great quality entertainment events like other parts of the country. I mean, we know that places like Joburg, places like Durban and Cape Town, they're very big on entertainment. So we also wanted to put Middleburg on the, on the headlines as well, you know? So RMM Events was born in, Mid in Middleburg and that is why we are starting the, these projects that are so close to our hearts that we can see people love and want to be a part of. Um, we saw that it would be great if we started them here at home, the home of RMM events. Today we are partnering with um, Ex Marco, we're partnering with Tico, we're partnering with TMM, um, but those are just mainly the service providers that put together this event. Uh, but in as far as other big sponsorships, 
not yet. We were very unfortunate that uh, we had this dream during a pandemic. So as you can imagine, a lot of industries suffered. So not a lot of them were able to come on board, but they have really shown their support and pledged that they would like to partner with us and work with us um, going forward. Okay, um, thank you very much and congratulations once again on the event Tiako and uh, all the best for the 16th and the second Are you guys annual as well. On the 16th? It's my birthday on the 17th, so you better be there because it's gonna be a party. As Benin is beamed, let's believe in our vision, let's continue serving our people because. Um, throwing or hosting such a big event means that you are empowering so many other families that find employment through these things but also we need to be very calculative and we need to move with the times we need to be able to readjust because there are always going to be challenges today it's COVID-19 tomorrow it might be something else so event organizers must not lose heart they must really just go out there, believe in their dreams, work hard to achieve, um, you know, what they set out to achieve. It is doable, it is possible. And we must really take compliance very seriously because at the end of the day, we cannot be ignorant to the fact that we are serving a community of South Africans whom we love, whom we are a part of. So as event organizers, although we have taken a knock, of the past couple of months we still have a chance to rebuild and reinvent ourselves and find new ways new creative ways of doing things and do not be ashamed of not being so big because everybody wants to have a big event you know we should be willing to have the small events for the smaller crowds that are willing to come out and support you so do not lose hope don't lose faith um, let's try to reinvent ourselves going into the new normal that we now know. All right, thank you so much for your time.